We're seeing restrictions surrounding COVID-19 uh, lessening as the weeks go on. If you're considering a social gathering, it is still so important, guys, to be safe, to make sure that everyone stays healthy. Well, I recently chatted with registered dietitian and our friend, Carolyn O'Neill, about how we can socialize while staying socially distant. Take a look. Hello, beautiful friend. I am so excited that we are doing this segment. Um, I know you have a lot of great tips, so let's dive right in. Well, you know, the last time I was in your kitchen, uh, it was for Kara's baby shower. And yeah. now we get to be with each other, sort of. Yeah. But, um, things have changed. We've moved on from like worrying about, you know, what's in our pantry and stocking up on everything. But now we're starting to invite people over. I mean, we've been doing driveway drinks and cul-de-sac cuisine. But now I think we can allow, you know, like people to come into our backyards for dinner and not just our bubble, but like maybe friends who we haven't seen in a long time. So uh, folks have asked me, Carolyn, how can I do COVID conscious entertaining? Meaning, how is it safe? Everybody, you know, has a different comfort level. Some people really have not left their homes. Some people maybe have been doing a little socialized distancing already. So I'm here to give you some recipe suggestions that are safe and delicious and easy for you when folks finally come over. Right, I love it. And the first one I wanna talk about uh, or ask you about is one of my favorites. And that's like, I always love to do a big charcuterie. But ew, yes. you have the thought of it. Yes, and you know, you know, everything from the big charcuterie platters, which you know were trending on Pinterest and Instagram last year, you know how beautiful they were. We just don't want that many hands on our food, okay? Just food safety 101. So um, what I suggest and what I have done here, Christine, is made little individual uh, sort of charcuterie platters. Everybody gets their own plate, you know, with the little uh, prepared meats like the salami, some cheese, some nuts, maybe some pickles, whatever you... Oh my gosh, beautiful job. See, individually done. And that way, people uh, aren't touching other people's stuff. Can you imagine we used to do the giant nacho platters where everybody, you know, I just felt, you know just to state a fact here, now, COVID-19, as we know, is not really a foodborne illness like salmonella or E. coli, uh, those kinds of things. But we do want to keep in mind cross-contamination of people's hands and utensils. So on the charcuterie platter, I actually added a teeny weeny little fork. And what I, these are actually plastic, and I think they look really good. Everybody gets their own individual, right, utensil. Yep. And then, Christine, I also found these that were multicolored. So that, you know, like the wine charms? Yeah. You would know, oh, I am blue. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, Christine is yellow. Kara is blue. And so that way, again, it helps people recognize what their color is in terms of the serving utensils. Perfect. Now, another big trend is, again, single servings. Single servings. Okay? Again, no more like the giant platter of stuff. And I've got a really cool idea here. What I have done is actually created individual you know we would have like the hummus with the vegetables you know again out on a big platter so why not do it you know if you want to be sort of picnicky you can do it in a plastic cup and essentially i just put some hummus on the bottom you see that use them a tongs and add it you know whatever veggies you want but i just happen to have some oh that looks so and, great and yeah and then you put the little carrots and the cool thing is you can double dip as much as you want because it's your <laughs> serving of hummus and another um, way to kind of take that idea to a little step up for fancier entertaining, how about a Caesar salad? Okay, rather than the big bowl of the Caesar salad, you get your own individual, and I've done the little, um, you know, the spears of the romaine lettuce, and there is a little Caesar salad dressing in the bottom. So again, you put the Caesar salad dressing in the bottom, and then just put the little spear of romaine, and this is the baby romaine, so obviously it's smaller and just fits right in. And you know, this is not an idea necessarily born of our concerns today. I had this in Aspen, Colorado, at a restaurant called the Ajax Tavern, and Caesar salads came to the table, and we all had our own individual. Again, you can dip and dip and do and double dip. It's your Caesar salad dressing. Exactly. So again, Carolyn, by the way, when I got the notes that we were doing this and Haley said, you know, create your own, it was so fun. I, I didn't have paper plates because uh, I haven't been entertaining. I took out some of like Jim's grandmother's plates that she painted. And, and you know what? It's just a way to kind of individualize and make it unique and make it your own. 
cheese, I had some tangerines, I had some strawberries, you know? I felt like it was very, you know, just kind of uh, bringing it back to being a little more fun when you are entertaining and creative. You know, I think that's great. And again, I think back to the individual servings, we all know that, you know, potato chips and like cheese crackers all come in those individual bags. Again, rather than a giant bowl, but you can also make your own. You know, the teeny mini little plastic things that are sort of the snack size. I just put some popcorn in one. These are, um, happen to be um, pistachios and this one, honey roasted pistachios. So again, your guests, everybody has a different comfort level with how safe or unsafe they feel or how safe they're gonna feel in your house because you have done really, I think what is modern hospitality, which is being concerned. There you go. You've got some peanuts. This is all I had. Thank you, Georgia Peanut Commission and some Cliff Bars. But it, it, I see your point. Obviously, you can individualize them in baggies, and I have plenty of those. But I love I love this idea. Okay, we only have about 30 seconds left. Any other great tips and advice? Absolutely. You know, rather than the big cake, you're going with the cupcakes. And, you know, you can't blow out the birthday candles anymore, so everybody gets their own candle. And one more thing. The giant butter dish that we may have on the table, not such a great idea. I think you want to have individual butters, just like you would have in a restaurant. So um, having fun, having people over, no reason to bring out the caution tape if you are prepared with your single servings and utensils for every dish. Oh my God, Carolyn, I love you so much. I've missed you and thank you for this uh, all important segment about staying safe as we start to venture into the entertaining world again. Thank you so much, I love you. Cheers. Cheers, Mwah. Great advice, thank you so much, Carolyn.